Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Capricorn. This is going to be your beginning to middle of July spread. All the information that you need to book a personal reading is going to be down below, and all the special announcements will be said at the end. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. So I see you guys are having an awakening that you need to release somebody in order to level up, in order to move forward. In order for you to be free. For some of you, I'm seeing this manifest in a few different ways. This can be like a person that maybe isn't a great influence on you. I'm also seeing this as like an addiction. So this can be like substance abuse, drinking, stuff like that. But for a majority of you guys, I'm seeing this manifest as like a person. It's like for some of you, you gotta leave somebody behind so you can move forward, so you can take care of yourself again, so you can be free and so you can heal. So you can become the best version of yourself. And for some of you, I definitely see this situation could be draining you. I see this person could be depending on you a little bit too much here. I'm also seeing this can be like more than one person. So you can have like multiple people depending on you too much and it's very draining for you. And it's like you feel bad wanting to put yourself first again because you have all these people depending on you. And you're wanting to let go of people or things that no longer serve your highest good because you guys can't pour from an empty cup. And you're wanting to be of service to yourself first so you can be of service to others. And again, I just see the situation is like draining you here. And I see you guys have a lot of anxiety about this, like I said, because you guys feel guilty about putting yourself first. But it's like you know that you have to move on in order to have a more meaningful life for yourself. I'm seeing it would benefit you guys to work with crystals in this time because this will help keep you grounded, focused, and clear. This will also help you to see through some of that fear, worry, and anxiety that's bubbling to the surface right now for you guys. Because for some of you, I'm seeing you guys are weighing out your pros and cons of leaving a situation. For some of you, I see you could have like a family with somebody and I definitely see you can be doing all the heavy lifting here. Okay, so again, it's like you have all these people depending on you, including your partner. It's like for a lot of you, I'm seeing this person as like a man child or like a woman child. So I definitely see you're really tired taking care of all these people because you can't take care of yourself. And for some of you, I'm seeing like you're wanting to go back to school. Like I said, you're wanting to do something for yourself. You're wanting to go back to school. You're wanting to heal. You're wanting to be the best version of yourself that you can be. And you feel like you can't do that. You feel like you can't put yourself first, again, because you're putting everyone else before you. And for some of you, I see you're wanting to like take your children. I see you getting on a plane or like a moving truck and like you're wanting to leave and start a new chapter in your life. And I see you guys going through court, either wanting to get custody of your children or child support I'm seeing. And I see this will also go in your favor because it's like you carry everybody on your back already. And it's like this person doesn't do anything except make you clean up after them. That's what it looks like. So I definitely see you guys have an idea of what you guys want to do, but I see it's like about gaining like confidence and extra clarity in this idea. Okay, and I definitely see you could be getting signs and synchronicities from the universe coming in the form of animals specifically I'm seeing. For others of you, you might not have kids with this person, but like you can have kids and like you could be dating someone that feels like an extra kid to you. Um, for others of you who have no kids, I'm just seeing like you could be dating someone again and it's like this person's like a grown child. And it's like you feel like you can't take care of yourself because you're always taking care of this person. And I definitely see for some of you, like there's a strong feeling of knowing that you have to put yourself first, but feeling guilty for doing it, feeling guilty for leaving this person. I definitely see this person could be like very codependent. And it's like for some of you, it's like you worry like if this person is going to be okay if you leave. Everybody has their own unique path and journey, okay? And you can't be responsible for this person's well-being. You can only be responsible for yourself and your own journey. And you're being asked to be confident and surrender to the universe. 
I just see you guys are trying to see both sides of the situation. Like I said, you guys are scared that, like, if you leave, if this person's going to be okay. Because they depend on you a lot. But you feel like this person no longer serves your highest good. Because, like, you're so drained from taking care of this person that you can't take care of yourself. And like I said, you guys are wanting to be free so you can heal and be the best version of yourself. And again, I just see you guys are feeling, like, really guilty about that. For some of you, I'm seeing you could have, like, friends around you that are very dependent on you. And it's weird how I'm seeing this because in a past life, these were your children. I'm getting, like, chills all over my body. And that probably has a great deal to why you guys are also feeling guilty about putting yourself first before these people in this situation. Okay? So that was pretty cool. Um, some signs that popped up in here, I see... Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Gemini. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. Make sure you check your chart. Whoever you're connecting with, go check out their chart too. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. And definitely go check that out because me and my mom made some really cool space face masks. So if you guys like space, planets, and constellations, they come in a pack of two and the link is going to be down below. And I changed around my menu for personal readings, so all the information that you need to book one is also going to be down below. And make sure to go listen to my music on all major platforms and SoundCloud. And also go check out my Instagram, at CosmicTides underscore. I pull daily tarot cards, I share channeled messages, all that good stuff. And if you guys are interested to see what decks I use for this reading, they're also going to be listed down below. And I send so much love, light, protection, support, and safety to all those speaking out against injustice and fighting for peace. The universe fully supports you. Your voice matters, so keep speaking your truth because the time for change is now. And it's really important that we keep this momentum up, that we keep on bringing awareness and keep on having these conversations even after it stops trending because the problem is still going to be there. So please keep fighting the good fight because this is going to bring change. And keep shining your light on the world because you make a difference. Stay blessed and stay safe. Bye!